Families of service members killed in a training exercise off San Clemente Island are set to make a major announcement. This comes nearly one year after this tragedy. News 8's Chris Grow is live in Oceanside with a closer look. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, Eric and Stella. Eight Marines, one sailor killed one year ago tomorrow. Their families, which include parents as well as loved ones, will be speaking to the press a little bit later on this morning, making a major announcement, but also voicing their questions. We actually did catch up with some of the parents, two parents actually of the youngest Marine killed in this accident. Here's a little bit of our, our conversation. Take a listen. We're still waiting for answers. Uh, as what exactly happened. We did get a report of the mechanical uh, aspect of the problems that occurred on the island and also actually what happened um, out in sea. And that's Carlos Baltiera. He and his wife Evelyn are the mom and dad of Brian Baltiera. Brian was just 18 when he was killed after that amphibious assault vehicle or AAV as you might have heard it called during that time sank during a training raid at San Clemente Island. So today his family as well as others plan on making that major announcement as well as again publicly asking questions specifically to the Marine Corps and BAE. Now BAE is the manufacturer of the vehicle that sank. Now on March 22nd, as you heard Carlos allude to there, he says that the family of the nine who died did get a detailed explanation of what happened. But the problem is, according to them, that there was a lot of redacted information. And Carlos and Evelyn say this could have all been prevented with correct standard of operations followed and proper communication. Uh, and, and one of the really uh, heart touching moments there. This really uh, very sad moment uh, during our conversation. Carlos actually showed us one of the last text messages that he sent to his son after he had heard about his son's fate. Look. I actually sent him a message um, the day after I heard that he passed away. And, you know, it, and it was just one of those things that I said, Brian, you know, I'm sorry that this happened to you. Going forward, you're, you'll be in good hands going forward. And so again, we'll be hearing from the families later on this morning. That should take place sometime around 9 a.m. We could be potentially taking a look at other uh, pieces of video from the day of this accident. That is something that we could potentially see as well as that major announcement. Eric and Stella.